So, I got a pretty good idea for a movie. And I got my crew together and everything, so I thought I'd just go out there and shoot it. Unfortunately, I ran into this problem. Shoot film, Dale. I've got a DSLR, why don't you just shoot it on this? To be honest, I was at a loss. Medium was a huge issue for me. I thought I'd just pick up some film and a camera and go shoot it like some of my idols. It wasn't going to turn out that way. So we went to interview someone who actually knew what they were talking about. I love film and I've shot 50 movies. Um, 48 of them have been on film and two have been on digital. I, I grew up shooting film as a child. You know, my first memory was my father putting a Super 8 cartridge into his camera. And for that history to go, I think, is a, is a real shame. You know, everything I grew up watching and, 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 and re-watching uh, was shot that way. You know, there's, a, there's an alchemy about it, an image that's, you know, acquired with, uh, with celluloid that is dreamlike in, in a sense. In a way, I suppose digital, it's here to stay, for sure. Fifteen years ago, film might have been here and digital might have been there as far as the gap goes, but now film might be here and digital might be here. I can see up ahead the little flag waving. You know, for years we were saying um, it'll never take over, it'll never take over. I can remember 20 years ago, 15 years ago, going to, to meetings in Los Angeles and uh, saying, oh, it'll never happen, it'll never work. As far as the film purist goes, I, I just want to be a filmmaker. I want to tell stories with a camera. And if that involves a medium of using wood and banging nails in it, so be it. If it involves shooting digital, fine. If it involves shooting film, that's fine too. It seemed everyone was quite nostalgic about film, but kind of that it was a way of the past, and digital was the way of the future, and even the present. But I was still interested. What separates them from like a technical standpoint? I'm finding that digital is sees more into the, the dark areas. Film might see more into the highlights. Well, digital definitely sees more into the dark areas. So if anything, you might tend to underexpose a lot more. I certainly, have noticed uh, a difference in uh, workflow and um, and as far as the amount of personnel you have to run the equipment, you still have your basic camera assistants, your operators, um, your clapper loaders and so forth, but then there's an electronic um, world where as far as you have uh, digital Im image technicians, dits, you have data wranglers. Film has a certain grain structure to it. Um, you, know, you don't get grain with digital simply because it's digital. It's good to embrace the change. Like, I don't think there's ever been a more exciting moment in cinematography. There are new cameras coming out almost every week. I mean, I still think the film looks better because it's not as sharp. Digital is just too sharp. You know, with, with, in the days of film, when you, when you shoot film, it's you and an exposure meter and everybody ha has faith in what you say because nobody can see what you're getting. Nowadays everybody is an operator and everybody's a cinematographer and everybody's a director because they all have it there in front of them and they all have something to say. Films are always time and money. Just you know, the cost of film stock in this country is just a bit too high at this, at this point. And if you start going over, it starts costing by the time you buy the film, process the film, transfer the film. That starts adding up. The thing you'd have to worry about too, I suppose, would be the quality of the lab processing because as the labs get less and less work, you know. I was also at a point where my movie was kind of an idea and not really anything else. And everyone seemed to think that medium was kind of secondary to the entire process. And I should really focus on my story. It just goes back to having, you know, uh, a story that is compelling. What is capture on is secondary content and theme and the look of the movie is important for me. I think it depends on the style of what you're trying to shoot would dictate your format. Mm -hmm. If you were shooting, say, a period show, maybe you'd opt for film for that opulent look. Um, if you were shooting a, a gritty drama, maybe digital might be a good look for it, say. It depends, I think, on the story and how you're trying to tell it. If you have a, a really simple story, but it's affecting, it makes you laugh or it makes you cry. That's more important. It all just comes down to the, if the digital effects serve the story, fantastic. But if they're just there because they look really good, who cares? If you're not involved in the story, you don't have a film. So, here we are. After months of editing my scripts and putting it all together, getting some really good ideas together, decided to shoot on digital for budget reasons. Hey, um, we're ready on set. So, here we go. Come on. Spectre space time, scene one, take one. 
and action.